Hey guys, it's Jessica with Mr. Mustachio Crafts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint these really cute flower pots. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. Enjoy! So the materials that you're going to want to need are definitely some paint. You're going to want a lot of different colors depending on the colors that you like some dotting tools, some sharpies, um, here I have some metallic ones but I didn't really get to end up using them. Um, you're going to want some sandpaper, some paint brushes, and a paint palette. But if you don't have a paint palette, a um, paper plate will work just as fine. You're also going to want some tape, some seeds of your choice if you plan to put plants in here. And also some pots. I got these pots from Home Depot for about 75 cents each. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is sand down your pots. Some of these pots have really sharp edges, so I would really recommend sanding them down so they're a little bit smoother. And then when you're done with that, you are definitely going to want to wipe them off with some sort of cloth, or I actually used a baby wipe, but that made them like really wet. Um, so yeah, if you do that, I would just recommend letting them dry first before you put any type of paint on them. So another step that I would really recommend is that if you're using lighter colors like I'm going to be using, I would definitely do a coat of white paint just to work as a base so your light colors don't end up looking darker because of the terracotta color of the base. base sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Pot thing. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, um, as you can see I am just painting the inside, um, sorry, the outside of the pots. You're definitely going to want to um, paint the inside because you're not going to fill up your pot with soil all the way. So you want it to look pretty on the inside as well. So as you can see, my finished pots. So for the first one, I decided to use this really light blue color. And I just went ahead and painted the bottom portion of the pot with this light blue. And I did add a little bit of white to make it a little bit more light blue a little bit lighter, I guess you could say. I did that. And then for the top edge, I took some more blue and I started painting with that, but then I kind of decided that I didn't really like how it was. Um, I think it was too, like the colors matched too much. So I went ahead and added some darker blue um, and made it darker. So while that pot was drying, I decided to start on my other pot, and for this one I'm going to make it a watermelon pot. So I just started with my red, and I just went around the bottom portion of the pot. So once that dried, I decided to paint on the seeds. So I just took some black paint and I just very carefully painted on all the seeds in a random away a random assortment. So then I decided to take some dark green paint and I went around the top edge of it to create the crust or I don't know outer part of the watermelon. And then while that one was drying, I decided to move back to my blue pot, and I actually lost the rest of the footage for this um, for this pot, but I'll just show you what I have. I just took some dark blue, and I just created random shapes, um, sort of like large teardrop shapes similar to the ones on the um, watermelon, but I just did that, and then I went back with a lighter blue color and then a light green color and you'll be able to see the finished product in a second. And then at the very end, I also added some different colored dots to it. Mm. 
So here is the finished one. As you can see here, all the dots and everything. And I also lost the footage for the uh, rest of the watermelon one, but that one was almost done. Um, all you had to do was add some lighter green stripes to the top. And also, if you bought bases with your pots, um, go ahead and paint those. You can paint them any color you want, but I decided to paint the watermelon one red and the other blue one blue. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want some more. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!